We have a new epic update in Legend of Slime. We're going to cover everything this update has and show you just how much progress we gained from it. And I can tell you right now, no update in the history of Legend of Slime has gave us this many stages before. Not a single day has passed since our previous video where we were saying that the game desperately needed some new content and an update. Well, here it is folks. So go to your app stores and update your game manually if you haven't received the update in the game yet. And if you don't have Lovecat yet, comment your invite codes on this video, join our Discord server to share your code, and if you are subscribed to the channel, I'll pin your invite code so everyone sees it, helping you unlock Lovecat quicker. Now to get to the update, you may have to refresh your app store to see the update pop up. We have new equipment known as talismans in the game now. I'm sure this will be another huge attack boost that completely neglects to give us any additional health. We have two new events which I'm sure will be similar to Slime Commute and Slime Merge. The new slime is out as well, which we will check out and preview shortly. And there are a bunch of alchemy changes, including the ability to play on two premium passes now, which I assume is for the purposes of allowing new players to catch up easily if they wish to do so, since new players do generally start one pass behind the current players. Enough of the notes, let's just jump into version 2.1 of the game. Right off the bat, we're sent over to summon for the talismans, which is located in the premium shop. Hopefully we get some good results here. Watch carefully as we summon. Did you see that damage gain? We are now at AF damage. That's insane. We got one epic in our first summon and two more here. I'm going to finish off our summons. It looks like we're given two initial summons and we're given another one in 10 minutes. And just like how our initial regular gem summons operate, it seems there's diamonds now to summon for talismans. Gems just continue to be more and more useless when it comes to summoning. I'm sure we will get diamonds from events in the future, at least one would hope so. What's interesting is that talisman summons only go up to epic rarity at a 3% summoning rate. But if we go to our talisman tab, they actually go up to legendary rarity. This means we have to potentially fuse all the way up to legendary talismans. That is honestly crazy if true. Since it'll take hundreds of multi summons to potentially get into our first legendary talisman. So I guess we can only wait to see what happens here. After enhancing and equipping our strongest talisman, we're now well into the AF damage, so I'm certain we're going to easily get into heaven too. We can clearly see the stage bosses are getting one tap so far, so let's jump into the other updates as we slowly progress through stages, since this initial push is going to take some time. Now our next stop is the alchemy shop. As you can see, the layout of the shop has changed, and in my opinion, it's much better than before. This is because everything is conveniently on one page, so you no longer need to keep scrolling up and down the shop. And there's also a new slime stone that we can use, which is used to get these new fragments. These fragments allow us to assemble them into new slimes. This might allow free-to-play players to potentially get free SS slimes. And on the alchemy info screen, we can clearly see that we are able to fuse into Hero. So it's only a matter of time before free-to-play players get their hands on some free SS slimes. This is honestly a huge update. I'm so glad that the devs have implemented this. I can't wait to see what the difficulty is for getting SS slime fragments and what happens if we already have all the slimes. Since if we already have a series of SS slimes, or let's say you don't have any at all, there's tons of SS slimes at this point. So getting 50 fragments for a single SS slime when you only get one at a time would practically be impossible. Since most free to play players don't have any shop refreshes, meaning there has to be a balancing act at play here where you can use SS slime fragments across multiple slimes. Otherwise, this continues to be a dream for free to play players. And it looks like each refresh of the shop does give us those slime stones. So it looks like we do have three now. Let's go ahead and craft in the old alchemy cauldron to see what we get. Our first result is five amber fragments. 
and another five amber fragments for our second summon, and finally five for Santa. So we can't use them to craft unfortunately, so I wonder what purpose he'll serve later on. I'm hoping for the ability to create some SS slimes, since again it does say here that you can get one SS slime fragment, five S slime fragments, or 10 A or lower slime fragments through crafting. So good news is we might be able to craft newbie out of this, but right now the odds are split evenly between the four S rank slimes on the summoning page. This might get changed daily or with another update, and going back to our stages, it does look like we're well into heaven too, and we're still completely decimating the stage bosses. This update was insane for power gains, we've currently gained an easy 40 stages for having to lift a finger, and quickly jumping back into talismans, Something interesting to note here is that each talisman provides different owned effect bonuses. As you can see, Stunning Talisman of Focus provides basic attack damage, but Stunning Talisman of Onslaught gives companion basic attack damage, with their uncommon, rare, and legendary counterparts all providing the same owned effect bonuses. Meaning you're still choosing your strongest talisman regardless of the bonus, since again these are just owned effect bonuses, meaning they apply regardless of which talisman you have equipped. So just go for the one with the red dot indicating it provides the strongest bonus. Also something interesting to note is that there are new stage bosses. These were posted in the discord server which you should join. Links to the discord server are in the description and comment box below. They've added new designs to the stage bosses. I wonder if it's for an upcoming event, we will have to see but I do appreciate the change in scenery. Also looks like we are still pushing stages which is absolutely insane. We're on heaven 2 stage 7-6 with no signs of slowing down. This is until we just got one shotted by the sage boss, looks like I spoke too soon. It does look like pay to win players can't even escape the struggle that is getting their HP higher. That might be because my HP level is still at 29,000. I don't know everyone, should I finally upgrade my HP stat? Nah, let's just keep it at the current level. Instead, we'll go ahead and put on flexible bamboo. Hopefully that'll give us the HP gain we need for our situation. And jumping into another sage boss battle, it does look that it was taken care of. We're back on that pushing grind. I think we've gotten over 80 sages so far which is insane. Let me know in the comments how many sages you've gained from this update. I'm really curious how far everyone has been pushing. Also, I totally forgot that we can upgrade our attack and critical hit damage. So let's go ahead and do that. I thought it'd only be a few upgrades but it just keeps on going. That increase to our attack stat gave us a 5% boost in damage overall. And the same goes for our critical hit damage where we got around a 3% attack boost. This is very nice to see, and would you look at that, we have another talisman summon available, so let's see what we get here. And nothing amazing unfortunately, plus on a side note, it looks like they've changed the display time for the premium pass on the left side of the screen. It now displays the amount of days remaining, so much better than the hundreds of hours that it displayed before. Also, we finally get to see one of those new stage bosses. Honestly, a very cool design with that stop sign and a polar bear outfit. I welcome the change since we've grown tired of seeing the same stage bosses over and over again. Also, I'm happy and sad to say that talismans do not give additional own effect bonuses once they do reach level 100, which you can see from this image shared in our Discord server, unlike other equipment like weapons and earrings. So at the very least, the new update is an extremely pay to win. Since the value you get from the new diamonds is extremely low, the free summons should be enough to scale into the late game at a timely fashion. Since the 70A equipped effect bonus doesn't compare to our epics for example, so getting higher rarities seems to be the overall goal. But since it'll take ages and ages to get epics to level 100, and then fuse them into legendaries, we will all be stuck at epics for a long long time. Also, as we fuse we got a bit more damage, so let's see how far we push once more. I also noticed I had the complete wrong build equipped, so we should gain a bit more damage and push a bit farther now that I switch my build to the proper one. 
We are so close to Heaven 3. I really wonder if we're going to be able to push towards it. That would mean the update has given us close to 100 stages so far. I think that is a first in Legend of Slime. No other update has provided us so much progress with zero investment before. Also, if you do look carefully at the battles on the screen, I'm not sure if they've changed or nerfed Eagle Strike, but it moves much slower than before. Previously, Eagle Strike used to be instant, but now it has a much slower casting time. I'm sure it doesn't change its damage output too much. They probably did it since the previous animation was way too fast, and it looks like we finally finished pushing stages. Funny enough, we went from Heaven 1, Stage 10-2, all the way to Heaven 2, Stage 10-2. That was honestly a 100 stage gain. I don't think that has ever happened for me in Legend of Slime, where a single update gave us a triple digit gain in stages. This is without us having to put a single cent into the update. And let's go ahead to see our updated Dwarven King damage as well. We now do 2.39 AI damage with over 300 chests unlocked. And I can confirm that there are still no legendaries in sight, even though we pass over 300 chests. Looks like Dwarven King will forever provide epics and nothing else. Maybe the devs will change that in the future, since the rewards right now are frankly useless. Also, if you go to the menu tab, there is a new inventory button. This lets you see all your items in one neat section, so that's a very nice touch from the devs. This is a quality of life feature that wasn't needed, but it does help out to quickly view your items. Also last but not least, we have the details for the new slime. I was confused by the own effect bonuses. It looks like there is a visual glitch where clicking the bonus points the arrow in the wrong icon. As you can see, the attack one goes to the gold icon, and the crit goes to the attack, and so on. But anyways, some nice bonuses from the slime itself, the usual that we expect from an SS rank slime. Their slime skill is unfortunately nothing we haven't seen before, providing us with 929% of companion attack every 9 seconds, very similar to Miner. And if we go back and look, Miner provides us with 770% companion attack every 8 seconds once you do hit 10k depth in the mines, which would essentially provide us around the same damage as Mooncat. So if you don't have Miner, Swallow, or Gent, Mooncat is probably a good slime to pick up for cheap with the pass, since you won't be short on damage from their skill. Uh, again, this is dependent on the animation time for their skill, so you'll have to wait for our slime review of Mooncat, which will release in 3 days time, once Mooncat is available for purchase. And because of this, you should definitely subscribe to the channel and wait for the video. Let me know your thoughts on the recent update in the comment section, and like and subscribe for more Legend of Slime content like this. Enjoy!